There are two ways to measure fuel pressure, the dangerous and the hard way, and of course the easy and the safe way. Now at the research center, we don't like to open the high pressure fuel system. We want to avoid it at all costs because we know that high fuel pressure can penetrate the skin and injure the person. If you want to do it, make sure you have a 5,000 PSI quality gauge because there is a test port for connecting the gauge and measuring the pressure. You can see it here on the right side of the screen. In fact, it's a Schrader valve like we've been using for years. But before you do that, make sure you go back through the video menus and you view GDI special notes and make sure you understand how to disable the system and how to bleed off the high pressure fuel before attempting to do any work on the system. We use a scan tool, it's safer and it's easier. Here's a scan screen. This scan screen is from OBD2 Diagnostic Test Mode 8 or bi-directional testing. We can test both on the left in the blue at the bottom the fuel low pressure or on the right side there fuel rail pressure which is the high pressure system let's look at them one at a time here we're going to look at the fuel low pressure system we can see where the fuel pressure is we know it's 104.5 psi now we can't actually tell that from the graph but when we look at the bottom wherever that green bar is that's telling us exactly what the pressure is it also tells us where the pressure has been working meaning what was the lowest and what was the highest there may be some of these gray bars higher than the green fuel pressure bar. Now let's look at the fuel rail pressure. Once again, this is the high pressure. When we look at it, it has the green bar. And then underneath it, we can see many gray bars. And once again, the gray bars can be above the green bar, meaning that that was the entire working range for the pressure.